My name is Travis. I'll be walking you through an overview of Lens Studio. Lens Studio is a tool for creating Snapchat lenses. Let's get started. When we first open Lens Studio, we are presented with a number of template projects. These are great starting points for people new to Lens Studio. Each template presents a type of lens you can create. The templates are broken out into two sections, face and world. The face section contains templates used for creating front camera face lenses. The world section contains templates used for creating rear camera world lenses. You can easily access each template's guide and tutorial video by selecting Learn More in the template selection screen. If you are creating your first Snapchat lens, I recommend checking out the baseball cap template and the picture frame template, which both allow you to create a 3D experience by importing a single 2D image. For this overview, I'll be opening the face paint template. Lens Studio is made up of a group of modular panels. The workspace will open to Lens Studio's default panel layout. Any panel can be moved to meet your needs by clicking and dragging the panel. Now, let's walk through the functionality of each panel. First, the objects panel. Here is where you can see a list of all objects that make up your current scene. To add a new object, click the Add New button and select from the available objects. Here, you can add empty objects or select from Lens Studio's pre-made objects like camera, light, audio, and billboard. You can add new face effects here as well by selecting the Face Effects tab. Let's add a new face stretch effect, which distorts the user's face. Objects can be parented to one another by simply dragging one object on top of another. Objects can be enabled and disabled by clicking the checkbox to the right of the object. Finally, object hierarchies can be exported by right-clicking and selecting Export Object. The exported object can then be imported into another template by right-clicking the Objects panel and selecting Import Object. Next, the Scene panel allows you to visualize your lens scene. Here, you can see where objects are in your scene through the eyes of an editor camera. The Scene panel is where you're able to manipulate the position, scale, and rotation of 3D objects. It also allows you to adjust 2D effects, like the face stretch we just added in the Objects panel. With the face stretch effects selected in the Objects panel, adjust the points in the Scene panel to stretch and distort the face. When a 3D object is selected, the Scene panel shows you a 3D view of your scene. The Scene camera can be rotated by right-clicking and dragging in the Scene panel. Your mouse's scroll wheel will zoom the camera in and out. Finally, Holding the middle mouse button and dragging in the scene panel will pan the camera. 3D objects can be manipulated using the Move, Scale, and Rotation tools found in the toolbar, or by using their shortcuts W, E, and R. Moving over to the Inspector panel, here's where you'll be able to see and edit parameters on any selected object. A common workflow using Lens Studio is to select an object in the Objects panel and edit parameters associated with the object in the Inspector panel. For example, with the Face Stretch object selected, in the Inspector panel, I'm able to tune the overall intensity of the stretch. Additionally, you're able to add components to each object. Components are like logical building blocks for the objects you create. They allow you to add functionality like touch interaction, audio playback, object manipulation, and more to objects. The Resources panel is where you can import new resources into your project and also manage existing ones. Resources include meshes, materials, textures, scripts, sounds, and more. Resources can be added to the project by dragging and dropping a valid resource into the Resources panel, or by selecting Add New and Import Files. Some resource types, like Mesh, Material, and Post Effect, have built-in resources that you can add to your project. Any resource can be updated by right-clicking the resource and selecting Update from Source. If you want to relink to a different source, simply select Relink to New Source. Finally, if you want to update your resources directly without going through Lens Studio, navigate to wherever you saved your Lens Studio project. There, you'll see a public folder. The public folder allows you to update resources directly, and these changes are automatically imported into your project. 
The preview panel is where you're able to preview your lens in real time. Lens Studio includes static images and videos to preview your lens against. Click the image picker to change to a different built-in image or video. When working on face lenses, the preview panel includes a number of video expressions like open mouth, raise eyebrows, and smile to utilize when testing interactive face triggers. Pressing the swap camera button in the bottom left corner of the preview panel toggles the preview window between the face and world cameras. The top right corner of Lens Studio allows you to pair your Snapchat application to Lens Studio. When paired, you're able to see your lens in real time from within Snapchat. To pair, first make sure your computer and device are on the same Wi-Fi network. Then, click the Pair Your Device button. Open Snapchat and scan the displayed snap code by holding down your finger on the camera while pointing at the snap code. Once scanned, the button should turn green, indicating that it has been paired. Once paired, you can preview your lens on device by clicking the Push Lens to Device button. Scripting unlocks a lot of power when using Lens Studio and creating lens experiences. Scripts are added to objects via the Add Component option in the Inspector panel. Like other components, think of scripts as logical building blocks for the objects they're being added to. Or, put another way, scripts allow you to create your own custom components. For more information on scripting, refer to the Scripting Overview Guide in the Lens Studio documentation. When you're ready to submit your lens, first open the Project Info window to configure your lens. Here, you can set the lens's icon, give your lens a name, and configure which camera the lens will appear on. Additionally, you're able to set a hint which will be displayed to the user when using the lens. When you're ready to submit, click the Submit Lens button. For more information on submitting your lens, refer to the Submission section of the Lens Studio documentation. Finally, let's talk about the Lens Studio documentation at lensstudio.snapchat.com. If you're new to using Lens Studio, the Templates section is going to be the perfect starting place. Here, we walk through each of Lens Studio's built-in templates with in-depth guides and tutorial videos. Next, the Guide section walks through in detail each functional part of Lens Studio, from 3D importing and exporting to submitting your lens. It's all in the Lens Studio guides. For scripters specifically, the documentation page has a full scripting API reference. Here, you'll be able to see what classes, functions, and properties you have access to. Finally, if you have any additional questions, go to our support section where you can see previously answered questions or access the Lens Studio forum. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own Snapchat lenses using Lens Studio.